this is Kalpana here in this video we are going to solve this differential equation so let's get started problem solve 2x cube minus xy square minus 2y plus 3 to dx minus of x square y plus 2x into dy equals to 0 solution given differential equation Two x cube minus x y square minus two y plus three into d x minus of x square y plus two x into d y equals to zero. Consider it as equation one. Okay. So the terms involving differential d x is your m, and the term involving differential d y is your n. Right. It is of m dx m dx plus n dy equals to zero form where by comparing these two we'll get m equals to two x cube minus x y square minus two y plus three and n equals to minus of x square y plus 2x if the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equals to partial derivative of n with respect to x and we can say that the given differential equation is an exact equation so firstly we will find the partial derivative of m with respect to y equals to dou by dou y of for m equals to 2x cube minus x y square minus 2y plus 3. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so we will treat x as constant. x cube x 2 3 are constants here. This equals to dou by dou y of first term minus dou by dou y of second term minus dou by dou y of third term plus dou by dou y of last term is equals to partial derivative of constant with respect to y is 0 minus x is your constant x into partial derivative of y square minus constant into partial derivative of y plus partial derivative of constant with respect to y is 0 is equals to minus x into partial derivative of y square with respect to y is 2y minus 2 into partial derivative of y with respect to y is 1 is equals to minus 2xy minus 2. Now let's find the partial derivative of n with respect to x. Partial derivative of n with respect to x equals to dou by dou x of for n equals to minus of x square y plus 2x. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to x, so we will treat y and 2 as constant. Right? As equals to minus of partial derivative of first term. plus partial derivative of second term is equals to minus of constant into partial derivative of x square plus constant into partial derivative of x 
is equals to minus of y into partial derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x plus 2 into partial derivative of x with respect to x is 1 is equals to minus 2xy minus into plus minus 2 into 1 2 okay therefore partial derivative of n with respect to x is minus 2xy minus 2 both are equal right therefore dou m by dou y equals to minus 2xy minus 2 equals to dou n by dou x right therefore dou n by dou y equals to dou n by dou x so from this we can say that equation 1 is an exact equation okay since the given equation is an exact equation so we can find the general solution to the given exact equation okay we know that the general solution of an exact equation is given by integral over x m into dx plus integral of terms of n free from x into dy equals to integral constant c okay so first we consider integral over x m into dx. Here we will be integrating m with respect to x treating y as constant. Okay. This is equals to integral of for m equals to 2x cube minus xy square minus 2y plus 3 into dx. So here y is treated as constant, right? So y square, y2, n3 will be constants. This is equals to integral 2x cube dx minus integral xy square dx minus integral 2y dx plus integral 3 which is equals to let's write the constants outside the integral 2 into integral x cube dx minus y square integral x dx minus 2y integral dx plus 3 integral dx is equals to 2 into integral x cube dx is x power 4 by 4 minus y square into integral x dx is x square by 2 minus 2y into integral dx is x plus 3 into integral dx is x. Two ones are to two are. This is equals to x power 4 by 2 minus x square y square by 2 minus 2xy plus 3x. Now let's consider the second integral. Integral of terms of n free from x into dy. We are having n equals to minus x squared y minus into plus or minus of. Which is equals to minus x squared y minus into plus minus 
to x. The terms which does not involve x is 0. This equals to integral 0 into dy. See here, in the first term you are having x squared, in the second term you are having x. Okay. We don't have any term which is free from x, so we will take it as 0 equals to 0. Therefore, the general solution of 1 is Therefore, the general solution of 1 is result obtained from the first integral that is x power 4 by 4 minus x square y squared by 2 minus 2xy plus 3x plus the result obtained from the second integral. 0 equals to c. General solution of 1 is the result obtained from the first integral that is x power 4 by 2 minus x squared by squared by 2 minus 2xy plus 3x plus the result obtained from the second integral which is equal to 0 is equal to constant c. You can write this as x power 4 by 2 minus x square y square by 2 minus 2xy plus 3x equals to c. Take the LCM 2. The numerator will get x power 4 minus x square y square minus 2 2 is a 4xy plus 2 3 is a 6x equals to c. Then x power 4 minus x square y square minus 4xy plus 6x equals to 2c. Since c being constant, you can write 2c as c. Then we'll get x power 4 minus x square minus, sorry, x square y square minus 4xy plus 6x equals to c. It is the required solution. So we have seen an exact equation problem in this video. Hope you will understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.